And then we got, and then the, the people got to the next circle and there was S-T-O-P, stop. Finally, the child learned that word, stop, without the parent's assistance. That is a, a developmental task. The child has reached the age of starting to read and he has not been coached by anyone, but he already knew the alphabet, the color red, the, the circle, and put the things together, the circle inside the circle and the letters. And the task was achieved because of the age and the maturation of the, of the child. And then another story, the culture, according to theorists, Bukowski, Erickson, and others, they tell us that culture makes us who we are. We are who we are because of our culture. Now here comes the story. This is my story. 1988, I went to a festival called Sun Splash at Montego Bay. And that was a 10 day festival. Then part of the things I saw there were strippers. And I had never seen strippers before. And in Botswana, they are not allowed. So I find myself covering my front and baking out of the, of the celebrations and going home because my culture doesn't allow me to indulge in such things, okay? That's, that's a, culture makes us who we are, okay? Then within the, the culture, there is the concept of socialization and developmental tasks. Okay. And that socialization builds the concepts and transfer the concept to the to the children. Now going back to we are who we are because of the culture. Culture invites itself in the Western classroom. Children bring their culture into their classroom. And sometimes it deters them from learning the concepts that are presented to them because they're reading the subjects through their, their culture. Here comes another story. There was an eight year boy in a third grade class of mathematics. What's wrong? Okay, sorry, I was distracted. And the teacher was busy teaching subtraction to the class. And then to, to illustrate his concept of subtraction, he asked the class, class, if I have 10 goats in that pen or in that crawl, and I take away two goats, what will remain in the pen or in the crawl? Then this eight boy raised his hand and said, ma'am, there will be zero. And the teacher was angry at the boy. And then the boy said, before you get that angry, let me explain to you. 
in my tribe, we have goats and they are found in the crawl. When one goat makes a hole, all of them are going to go because all of them are going to go because the the thing is open. They have made a hole. And now the teacher threw the the, the child outside the class, a clash of two cultures, the culture of teaching by the, by the teacher and the culture of the land. Also at, in schools, there are prayers. In assembly, there is prayer and that is the culture of the school. So in culture, we find um, indigenous things, indigenous thoughts, and we also have spirituality. Then I'm going to start reading the slides now. Okay. Yeah, I start with the abstract. Uh, the people that you see there at the corner are some of the people that were interviewed for this um, presentation. And I'll go over that slide. I'll just read it loudly to you. A developmental task is a task which arises which arises at about a certain period of the life of the individual. Developmental tasks may arise from physical maturation, from pressures of cultural processes, or from the emerging personality, and from the interactions of this, or from the interactions of these factors. Understanding of this task is useful in defining educational objectives and timing ed educational efforts. The developmental task of infancy and early childhood or middle ch childhood of adolescence, early adulthood or, or middle age or later maturity I discussed in terms of the cultural basis and the educational implications. In other words, why are we concerned about child development tasks when education has nothing to do with the development of the child? Education is concerned with feeding children with book knowledge. No Tasks are important because we need to time the teaching according to the developmental tasks. Those people in the background are some of the tribes that were interviewed in, 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 this, in this study. These are people from a village called Muchudi, and they're dressed like this because of the cultural um, ceremony called initiation or huru. Okay, and now culture I define is, as what makes people who they are. In the Setswana culture, like most African cultures, it mediates the daily experiences of children as they grow up. And as they interact with people, animals, objects, and symbols in their immediate environment. The knowing other directs the steps of a child from birth up to adulthood. This study describes the process of socializing children into appropriate cultural norms and practice involving 
developmental tasks. In other words, they practice, you scaffold, you lead, you test the culture. There is tug of war in education between the Setswana cultural roots versus modernity. Background of the study. Okay, ah, oh, keep that village. Here uh, is the village that I come from. Behind that hill is my house. To the left is the president's mother's house. To the right is the chief's house. So you can have a taste of where I come from. Now, Botswana children and the socialization contest of pre and post independence. We'll be looking at socialization for both pre and post <coughs> independence. Every human being, irrespective of their origin, has a unique way of acquiring knowledge. Psychologists, sociologists, archaeologists spend time studying human context. The three agree that space, the culture, specific environments where people live, define their being and ways of knowing. Education in Botswana reflects the notion of learning context as made of three factors, the space, the culture, and the environment. Now the definition of developmental tasks and culture. Children, let's see, but many children develop with a specific culture in, in, in this case being Satana culture. And a combination of physical development, socialization, drive, milestone, and developmental task formation. Children acquire developmental task at almost the same age of every, at all, at almost the same age for every family, regardless of nationality, color, or race. In other words, a child reaches the performance of a specific task within a given age for all human beings or for all nationalities, irrespective of color or race. Lisa revealed that at a certain age, a child has a, a milestone and acquire ability to perform tasks as presented in his or her culture. Okay, these are Bakata. Okay, Or these are Bakata Bamuchudi who were also interviewed for this study. Now, rational and purpose. Can people see this? Yeah, can. Okay. Can you see the the? Yes. Are you able to read the slides? Yes, Dr. Nono. Yes, we can see your slide. Um, you have uh, a fifteen uh, more minutes. Um, if you can. Okay. Yeah, we can see the slide. Carry on. Okay. Next slide, please. Just skip this one. Yeah, I've already explained the rationale and the purpose. Okay. And here is part of the spirituality of the culture. People are waiting to be baptized in that water. Next. Botswana in general subscribes to the psychology or philosophy of both. 
And this concept is not just a simple ontological claim, but a learned way of living through which people gain experience. And it concerns body, soul, and mind. Next slide. Next slide. Okay. Indigenation of conventional research methods refers to the degree to which approaches, methods, measures, the literature and language of the research are embedded in the culture of the research society. Mutana is a predominantly an oral society and their language has a lot of meta metaphorical sayings, stories, songs, proverbs, etc. and etc. Next slide. Next slide. Now here is where we are seated in Khaburoi, the capital city. And so the, the culture here is different from the ones that you will find in a village like the one that I have shown you before. Now, the research design is qualitative. The population and sample selection was purposive. Due to the coronavirus in the country, we could not use a large sample. There were five members only in each focus group from the people per district, making a total of 60 parents. Participants' home visit were five per district, totaling to 30. Instruments used were interviews, focus groups, and observation. The data was collected by interviews of parents, focus groups, and observations. Participants' total was 140. Research questions. What are Batana children's developmental tasks and how are they acquired? acquired? Next slide. Data collected, I've already mentioned that, data, collect, coll data was collected by interviews from Bakwena, Batlokwa, Bakata, Bamanana, Baliti, Koramutsa, Bamakete tribe, Dikosi, and so on and so forth. Themes were identified from the collected data and ethical procedures for engaging human subjects, consent forms, and the letter of invitation explaining the, all the procedure to the participants and explaining to them that it's all voluntary as adhered to. Next. This was during data collection. What is the relationship between the Stana culture of raising children and the development of the developmental task and milestone. Second question, how does the process of socialization promote or disqualifies the learning of tasks? What is the exact age of acquiring the ability to do a specific developmental task and how? Tasks are tied to developmental stage. A task is made to manifest at this, or let me say that again. A task is made to manifest at a certain age. One to two years old, they learn to walk and eat solids. Two to five years old, children begin to feed themselves. Six to 12 year olds should be literate in cultural numeracy and language through socialization. And how is the socialization applied? Short stories, general oral literature, getting along with the family, neighbors, and society in general. 
helping the children to pick up gender roles, like girls should go to fetch water from the river, boys should go to the forest to fetch wood. So adolescent chores and tasks are according to gender. Adulthood chores are, pre are about preparing them for economic activities and how to run a family. Answer number two. The community works together to raise children. Parents and family take the lead and the community gives the support. Socialization is collective. It's a collective approach for cultural goals and expectations. Actions mediate the daily, the community actions mediate the daily experience of the children by scaffolding. Specific child rearing activities are taught. Adult supervision drives socialization. Socialization drives the task development. What a, what's the English word? What happens here or what showed up was the incongruence between the Stana culture and the school culture. The, the Stana culture will teach numeracy this way, the school will teach numeracy the other way. And also there's loss of identity for the children, loss of good manners, alienation of learners from their culture. Next slide. Yeah, that's a child from the Khoisan tribe. Summary and conclusion. Learners should be taught, take out the, learners should be taught within the confines of their culture. Cultural education should be taught alongside the scientific knowledge. The study concludes that child-bearing practices prepares children